Japanese government data showed on Friday that the country's job availability improved to its highest level in 23 years. The number of jobs available to those seeking them improved to its best level since March 1992. The ratio of employment offers to applicants comes in at 1.19 compared to 1.17 in April. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's economic program, dubbed Abenomics, seems to be showing some kind of promise. But some analysts argue that the country needs to address the issue of labor shortages first. According to the Kyoto News Agency, recent data shows labor continues to be in short supply in the health care and welfare sector. Support for Abe's cabinet has fallen to just over 40 percent, the lowest since he took office in 2012, according to the Nippon Television Network survey. A majority, over 56 percent, say Abenomics is not doing well. Abenomics is aimed at pushing Japan's economy out of deflation and back to growth. But that can't be achieved just through a massive monetary easing policy. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development says Japan must implement major structural reforms and do so quickly. And it has to be wary of the limitations of its monetary stimulus efforts.